think that there aren't many consequences uh, with with missing your teeth with missing your teeth well think again because there are uh, in this video we're gonna talk about what are the main uh, consequences when you lose one or more of your teeth uh, so if you stick till the end of this video you will learn about what happens uh, to tooth what happens when you lose one or more of your teeth if you are in this situation uh, what side effects do happen in the mouth and uh, on your face and how can you uh, reverse that to your uh, normal uh, to back to normal uh, missing teeth can affect jaw function it can they, uh, they also affect your occlusion uh, which means the connection between the the connection between the upper lower jaw and they uh, have a missing teeth also have a connection between your between your temporal mandibular joint which is the joint which is to your joints that you use to chew your food which are connected to your lower jaw which where the lower upper upper and lower jaw are opening why do you need all your teeth with a loss of one or more teeth, there is a opening between between your neighboring teeth. So people think this is just an aesthetic and uh, just an aesthetic thing, but it's not true. Uh, with losing one or more of your teeth, a lot of things happen in your mouth. So your neighboring teeth uh, connect uh, are trying to have the tendency to. Uh, close that gap between uh, what happened with losing one of your tooth uh, and the tooth on the up in the other jaw is also trying to connect connect with the other jaw they're like searching for contact uh, for connection so they could compensate for the loss of your tooth so, so when those teeth uh, misalign then they, they shift in the jaw and they're not in a proper position that they are anymore this is, a, this is a problem because then the surfaces of the tooth also change because the tooth goes misaligned. This is not only an aesthetical problem anymore, this becomes a functional problem because your part of the tooth that's been beneath the gums and in the bone also comes a little bit out, resulting in more tooth surface where food retention then can happen, which can lead to and more spaces are opened also between the neighboring teeth because it's a domino effect. One tooth misaligns, then the other and another all try to compensate for the loss of one tooth. So a domino effect happens, a slight, slight domino effect, but with every tooth loss, this domino effect grows larger and larger. With the problems of creating new gaps between neighboring teeth and new places where food retention can happen, and new places where gum recession that can happen and that can lead to gingivitis, periodontitis and even, and even tooth loss. So what happens? Your tooth shifts at first, your, tooth sh your teeth shift first, change their position in the jawbone. They turn, they twist, they angulate themselves, they really try to fill that gap uh, from your neighboring tooth that has been lost by various reasons. So when they angulate themselves or grow out of the other part of the jaw they're really just opening a space between opening the the surface of the tooth that's, that has been normally positioned below the ginger the gum level below the gingival level inside even the bone sometimes so when they erupt or misalign some parts when they misalign they expose those areas and those areas are not meant or designed by nature to be outside of your bone or outside your gums so these are new retention areas for food to be to be um, uh, to be retained to stay there and to create more gingivitis periodontitis carious tooth decay and more tooth loss resulting in even larger cascade reaction of failure next thing that happens is you lose your jawbone why uh, because the bo human body is excellent in preserving stuff, in preserving things, tissues, organisms, and energy. And when you lose your tooth, the bone that has been supporting the tooth uh, has no signals anymore from coming from the tooth itself that there's something that uh, needs to be supported, and they just and the bone disappears slowly over time. This is what happens when you, after several, let's say, months or years, are planning to do a implant placement in this area where you lost your tooth over some period of years, let's say, and there's not sufficient bone anymore. Why? Because the organ, your body has, has, uh, has chosen to. Uh, to remove those bo that bone tissue from that area, to resorb it, to, to resorb those bones because it's not needed anymore for this situation because there is, there is no teeth anymore which it needs to be supported 
with with bone with bone volume. So this is why bone grafting procedures are necessary in some times. Um, soft tissue issues also occur. Uh, in fact, you when you lose your tooth, your soft tissue also goes down following your bone tissue, and they can also happen on your neighboring teeth because because they, they shift, they change in position and your gums are not, uh, not anymore so nicely aesthetically positioned around your neighboring teeth as well so sometimes they require a periodontal or periodontal surgical treatment to restore it to a normal, a normal, um, normal value uh, but the biggest thing that happens actually what patients do not notice anymore that they, that they a change in their facial appearance, especially in the lower third of your of your of your face. Well, what does it mean? The lower third of the face refers to that area uh, from lower part of the nose, from the base of the nose, not the base, from the lower part of the nose here to the jaw, to to your chin, like here. This is the lower third of your. Uh, the, the thing this is the lower third of your face. When you lose your teeth, let's say from upper and lower jaw your lower fur then when and it compensates with angulation of other teeth or with bone loss or something compensates okay these things happen but over time you lose slightly your vertical dimension of your lower jaw resulting in uh, lowering your vertical uh, dimension of your lower face this is when you see uh, pictures or you have your grandparents or older people without missing teeth uh, that their lower thirds of your their face are really shortened and really lowered this is what happens because they lost their teeth they lost their jawbone and this is why then that the soft tissue follow the heart tissue and they look really shortened in this area so when you when you try to correct that error with missing teeth this is not only then a problem to correct the missing gaps where the teeth were but you also need to correct the vertical dimension of the lower third of your face uh, so, so when you want to have a, a, a restorative procedure done so a rehabilitation proper rehabilitation done and you have lost more than one two three four or more teeth a, um, a therapy for vertical dimension is almost always necessary. So this is something to, to, to have in mind when you see over time that your face has been changed via tooth loss and you don't know why. So this is why what happens. This is because the lower third of the face shortens over time because there is no, because the teeth are trying to fill the space from let's say tooth abrasion or tooth loss or tooth angulation because of tooth loss in some other area. So what are the solutions for your missing teeth? There are various ones. Let's talk about the most simple ones, which are removable dentures. Okay, after that we got uh, bridges, uh, bridges with different uh, with with different volumes, ranging from uh, single for to restore a single tooth or to restore a full arch of teeth if there if the, if the remaining teeth in the mouth are properly positioned and they're healthy to do so or if the, everything of this fails then you can also do implant surgery or combination with with bridges on your remaining teeth and implants in the places that are missing I really hope you like this video and you have more information now what happens with tooth loss and you will decide to visit your dentist to help you treat your problem and that you have a normal, better, natural and more healthier smile and you lose any, any other problems. Um, one thing also, um, the other thing that also happens with, with when you lose your vertical dimension is that you have, when you lose your vertical dimension something else is affected with that vertical dimension and this is your temporomandibular joint, the two joints that are, that connect your lower jaw to your head. So when you when the vertical dimension is altered, when it's shortened every time, your joint suffers gradually, slowly, 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 and sometimes you have some pain or some clicking noises, or you have uh, jaw deviations that they go, that the jaw when opens up can slightly deviate. This is sometimes normal because nobody is perfect, nobody is perfectly symmetric, symmetric, and jaws can de deviate, lower jaw can deviate a little bit why opening this is completely let's say under the um, there it's completely 
viable. It's completely viable to do uh, to be like uh, to be have a slight deviation. But when the deviation and pain and clicking noises and some other complications and pain via opening happen because of tooth loss, then this is something that needs to be uh, treated as soon as possible. So you can reduce more and more uh, problems um, that can happen because of this tooth loss. I really hope you like this video and you learn more about uh, tooth loss and what consequences does tooth loss has in the long term. Um, I hope you click, uh, click the like and subscribe button and uh, check out my other videos regarding the bridges, implants and all those restorative materials that can help you to restore your missing teeth and to gain more information what is the best dental solution for you. I hope to see you in my future, future videos. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below and see you soon. Bye!